It's been 15 years since I last laid foot on the old soils of Devon. As I looked around, I was shocked by the lack of change amongst the grounds. I was pummeled by the memories I formed in the school. I could clearly see them in my mind. The tree, the river, the staircase, and most importantly, Phineas. Or Finny for short. Come on, Gene, come on up. It's so tall, though. It's not that high once you're up here. I, I don't know. I don't want to fall. Ah, uh, don't worry. Nothing will happen. But, like, all right. What if, what if I fall? I break my leg. I can never play sports again. A shard of bone marrow goes to my heart, and I die. That sounds oddly specific. Are you foreshadowing something? Of course not. What are you talking about? Well, then get up here. It'll be fine. I, I don't know. Ah, uh, come on. Don't you want to be as cool as the older kids? They're the only ones who do this for a reason, you know. Don't be ridiculous. If I can do it, you can do it. I guess so. We all had to do that naturally because we were all getting ready for the war. The war loomed over us and changed how we all acted. Wow, Gene, I can't believe you actually came up here. Didn't think you would. Only the older kids do this stuff. So. Yeah, I was, uh, was kind of nervous climbing up here. It's really far up. The water is uh, super duper far down there. But, uh, you know, here I am. Well, you know, we should probably be getting down so we can get to dinner. Dinner's for losers. I don't want to go to dinner. I don't, well, actually, I don't want to jump down. I'm scared. If I do it, you're doing it. Go right, go right ahead. Deuces. Get down here. <laughs> Shortly after we jumped, we realized the time and hurried back to our dinner. Oh, dude, it's late. We gotta get to dinner. It's locked. Oh, dang it. Mr. Prudhomme's gonna kill us. It's like the ninth time has two weeks. I mean, it's just the summer, so it can't be that bad. Well, yeah, I, I guess you're right. I can't believe we missed dinner again. I know, dude. Like, we're gonna die. This summer session has not been good for us. Nah, it's been a lot of fun, though. Got that right. You guys have missed nine meals in two weeks. What do you have to say for yourselves? I'm sorry, sir. It's just that during the summer, we like want to play sports and try to keep up with our studies so we can be prepared for school. And sometimes we just can't make it to meals on time. Okay, well, don't let it happen again. All right, we want, sir. What are you wearing? It's this pink shirt I found. But why? I don't know, I'm like supporting the bombings of like Europe by the Allied forces. I don't know, dude. I gotta go. See ya. He used his preoccupied tone when he was thinking of something more interesting than what he just said. I don't know how he did it, but no matter what the problem was, he would always, and I mean always, get out of it. And I was sort of jealous, to be honest. I mean, I look at him, and he was wearing whatever girly thing he wears, as an emblem to celebrate the Central Europe bombing. Only a guy like Finney Paul would pull off something like that. Maybe it was the way he talked or his athletic abilities. You know, Finney, when I first met you, I didn't think I'd like you very much, but now you're one of my best friends. Yo, yeah, man, it means a lot to me that you think that we're great friends, because I do too. Yeah. Man, it's getting pretty late out, isn't it? Yeah, I should probably get to bed so we can get to school on time tomorrow. It's not like you to care about school. Well, you know, trying something new.